This is a hot pie original. Do you still get Simple pussy? I'll put something on your commissary. No, no, you know me. I'm just saying. Hey, like, it's so, me, though. So you're like, yo, did you say like, hey, let's go to your crib? Or you like, hey, of course. Yo. Yeah. Was, it's hard to pull a chick. I mean, I done hit three chicks in the van, <laughs> for sure. Hey, Austin kids, chicks listen. are on the road. Kids, listen, you listen. still get pussy in the it van. Ain't. Queen size bed, $1,100. Uh, welcome to the Gray Area Podcast with me, Chad Fisher. No more, it's no more. Yo, yo, it's Aaron Cheatham. the house boy <laughs> hey what's up everybody welcome to the gray area podcast i'm chad fisher alongside my co-host aaron cheatham aaron how you doing brother i'm fantastic oh a little hesitation there no hesitation that yeah. was a deliberate 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 distinction Just trying to get the timing right i'm fantastic you got another selena cup I wasn't bullshit when I told you, you I got a collection. I've got a collection of how Selena many cups. do you have? I think four or five. <laughs> so they have, they sell them like they have like uh, the collection would come out like three at a time yeah. down, down in South Texas. You I was just to this is so hilarious. I was just about to say that ha- this had to come from Stripes. Yeah, it's from Stripes. So yep. they have uh they had like a three set collection. I got all three of those, and then the next time I was down there, they had a new collection out, <laughs> I and got I got all three of those. I got two of the three because they didn't have the third one in stock there. So I, if, otherwise, I would have got you know all six of them. So I got like five of the six, either five Damn. of the six or four to six, one or the two. other. But yeah, man, I got I got Selena cups for days, man. That's awesome, man. And I mean, I can't. There ain't nowhere for us to put the picture of Mike. So I know, man. Oh, I, that's that's gonna be my shout out this week, actually. Mike or yeah, Selena? Mike. Okay. Well, yeah. There's nowhere to put the picture mm-hmm. of Mike, so I said, "Fuck it." Uh, Como the floor. I'll break out some <laughs> Selena. Why not, man? Yeah, you know, you you gonna let us get some icons on here, hot yeah, pie? Yeah. You ain't finna hold down my goddamn uh, subliminal shout outs. Cumbia. That's what Cumbia King, the Queen of Cumbia. Oh, uh, the Queen of Cumbia. That's when I used to be a wedding DJ, man, I used to play that shit all the time. In Ohio? No, no, here. In, uh, in, uh, in you Austin. were a wedding DJ in Austin? Yeah, yeah, dog. When I first moved here, like the first couple of years I was here, I had uh, do wedding DJ, man. That sounds like... Oh, dude, it was hilarious, man. Like, it was so funny. Yeah, you just playing Van Morrison for three uh, hours. Pretty That's, much, dude. I, I was, you know I was slipping some Van Morrison all the time. I didn't I'm, give a shit. Uh, you probably... It was probably like uh, you slipped in some current stuff every now and yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. Into, in, into your Van mix. Yeah, I was trying to make like their first dance. They're like, uh, did you say you wanted your first dance to be Van Morrison? They're like, no, absolutely not. We actually wanted like Chris Isaac or some dumb shit. What Van Morrison song would you play for somebody's first dance? Oh, Into the Mystic. Yeah, all day long. How does that go? Uh, this is a long ass song. I mean, like had the how the chorus or something. Uh, like, how, that's a good question, man. I have to have it playing to actually know. Oh, don't give me that. Yeah, because I'm trying to figure a, out if I know this song let your or not. Soul and spirit fly into the mystic. You know, I, we no. were born before the wind, also younger than the sun. You don't know this song? I don't know that one. Dog, you should. I shouldn't. It's a good ass song. What are you talking about? You I shouldn't. Did, He's I, like one of the most iconic musicians of all time, if not the. That's subjective. We, I got a funny story when we bring Andre on too, man, that's about, about this shit. Dre, you fuck with Van Morrison? Oh, I'm trying to get him to. I'm trying to get him to. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to. He's like, yeah, Van he Halen. He was black. Van Halen, rock on, black. brother. He thought he was black until just now, probably when he saw his t shirt. <laughs> but, you got a shout out for this week? Yeah, man. My shout out is Michael Jackson, dude, because I uh so I was listening to some. I went to my girlfriend's parents' house this weekend for their forty fifth wedding anniversary. Shout out uh to uh Gina's parents. But uh I was on my way down there, man. I was listening to Michael Jackson and it's just it, i was just thinking, I was like, dog, it's impossible to not be in a great mood when you're listening to Michael Jackson. It's a fact. It's like it, it's so hard, man. There's so many songs of his that like I you just cannot put on and not dance. You know what I'm saying? There's or even so the many. slower songs, like like uh, she's out of my life. Yeah, yeah. Like even that one, you like you mm-hmm. know what? Like because there's <clears throat> shit in that song that'll make you smile, even though he's completely heartbroken, yeah. li- voice quivering. Yeah, you'll still it's fucking still, yeah, smile. Quivering, because like, it's like <laughs> it, it, do, it does. He's like <laughs> too thankful for two years. <laughs> she <laughs> was here. <laughs> And I took her for granted. Jesus I crying. was so cavalier. <laughs> and it cuts like a knife. <laughs> She's out of Just my mind. whimpering the whole time. He does that in yeah. his heart too. He goes, <gasps> <laughs> oh my 
<laughs> you be like, ah, damn, come Michael. on, Mike. <laughs> she just called you and you made this song? Like, damn. Yo, you're like, he is heartbroken, yeah. but nigga, I'm going to the club yeah. tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike uh, has inspired but me. But yeah, there's so many songs of his, man, that you just cannot listen to and, and not want to get up and boogie and shit, man. For sure. So, so my shout out, you know, say what you want about him, you know, touch on kids, you know. It wasn't him. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly, his allegedly. replacement touched kids. Allegedly. But his the real Michael Jackson the never real, touched he nobody. He would never do that. He, the real Michael Jackson. I mean, he might have hugged the shit out of um, of Webster a couple yeah, times, and yeah. he hung out with, with Bubbles, Let me tell you but something. the if, real if, Michael Jackson never touched a child. If Michael Jackson, if they, if they, first of all, they don't even have really evidence of that. It's just he said, she said. We got Joe Biden on TV touching on kids, and no one says a shh. See, you, a you're going to say that, and we're going to have another fucking troll Digging. Did you see that troll on our uh, Instagram? Uh, Man, I had. To, I'm surprised we didn't get suspended because I had to go in so, on the troll. Well, I don't even pay attention to the Instagram. Yeah, some uh, some troll jumped on a post that you posted on our page uh -huh. uh, of the, the the picture of Biden sniffing the hair or whatever. Oh yeah, and was highly offended. Oh really? Highly and, and offended more, by more all offended the comments. More offended me than 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 this guy sniffing on kids. So this person came to the defense. I can read to you what she said because I actually oh, responded shit. and I was like. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, dude. Are you a like? Does Biden pay you, or yeah. are you related to Biden? Because I'm, nobody should be going this hard. Yeah. For he's not a fucking celebrity, she was, dude. No, he's she's a like goddamn public he's a, servant. This was at a funeral, and that child's father had just passed, and that child's father was Joe Biden's son. So you are so insensitive, and you're all fucking idiots. Okay, what for, about all the other thirty kids that we've got video of him kissing on? I don't, and I don't know about that. I, I I only know about what dude, this there's like a, said there's about like a this. twelve minute video on on YouTube. That's they pulled it down, of course. Uh, like personally. People are looking too hard for this nah, shit. No, dog, they're not. They, I've seen they, the video. Have you seen the video? No, I ain't seen you the video. You see the video, man. I got he, better shit to do with my he time. He stays uh, sniffing look up Joe kids, Biden man. sniffing I don't kids. look it up, dog. It look, just, Bill I Cosby just, just got released. Oh, there you go, man. Don't Party. fucking put this Party out there. Time. Party <laughs> don't time. put this out there. <laughs> get get Biden inviting Cosby to yeah, the goddamn gonna, White House. Hanging out. Yeah, they're about to start hanging out. Who's your shout out? Jesus. Uh, yeah, oh, I love Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. shout out to Jesus. Shout man. out, <laughs> shout out to JC and the yeah. place to be. Um, my shout out. I got first of all, shout out to uh, all the all the people down in South Florida, and Miami, or the families of the people in that condo that collapsed. Like it's fucked up, man. That's I mean, yo, hearts and prayers go out to you guys. Real talk. Like that's it's one thing if like a hurricane comes through and knocks a building over, and people are inside. But this is like you know because that's a natural disaster. You can explain that. Mm -hmm. But a building just fucking collapsing? Oh, dude, I read today. Did you hear about? I read today that they fucking knew about this shit like months in advance. Well, I, I know that they started doing. Um, uh, they started going through doing a. I can't think of the word right now. It's on the spot, but uh, inspections. Yeah, yeah. On uh, on all the buildings that are over forty years old, make sure they're they're up to date. And they found like a couple of government uh sure. properties that yeah. were way behind, and then some <laughs> other ones uh, like people like immediately can't use the balcony no more because it's a it's a risk. Damn. Uh, I mean, so, I mean, you hate that something like this has to happen in order for yeah, people yeah. to do what they should have been doing from the jump. Yeah. Kind of like when the freeze came here in February, it took that shit to happen for them to be like, hey, man, what the fuck are y'all doing? Yeah, I, yeah. Why, why are you not weatherized? Yeah. Why are we dealing? You hate that something bad has to happen in order for all of these en entities to get their shit together. Yeah. Um, but that wasn't my shout out. But I just wanted to yeah, put that out up. there. Like, uh, you know, shout out to everybody that's that knows somebody down there going through that. Like, that's an unfortunate situation. Like, real talk. Uh, my shout out, though, goes to uh, my son. He is graduating from uh, preschool this oh, Friday. Oh, shit. What's up? Uh, so he'll be starting kindergarten in, be a party at the in August. Uh, man, no. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I don't no, like, you, no, we might go get a slice of pizza. We'll you see you had to talk to my wife about yeah. that. Any, any parties have to go through her because yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not about organizing and putting that <laughs> yeah, together. Yeah, that's too much. And and being the host, I can't, yeah. you know, no, I because I'll, nah. But, uh, but yo, real talk. My son made it through uh, preschool. He's, uh, man, I'm proud of that kid, man. He's, that's he's awesome. come a long way. He's come a long way and it's just crazy to see, you know, where he started and where he's at now. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess I, I would say at preschool, but I mean, like he's been there since he was six months old. So it was like, it's, I guess in life, yeah. watching him go from, you know, just this thing, this little object, this being that <clears throat> can't speak, can't do anything to like now coming downstairs and saying, can I watch Netflix? Yeah, yeah. And knows how to go upstairs and get on Netflix yeah, yeah. and watch whatever he wants to watch That's or, crazy, or you know, sit in his room and watch Disney Plus. Like, That's it's wild. crazy that he can, you know, he's he's got allowance now. We just started giving him allowance like two weeks ago. He's got jobs around the house he does. Damn. And it's like five years ago, this dude was 
like unable to speak. Little baby. Unable to speak. And in five years, he went from that to reading a little bit and making his own comic books and Dude. watching TV. And like, it's amazing, man. That's shout so out to cool, my man. son. He's, yeah. he's awesome, man. Uh, so shout out to Zozo. Uh, good job getting out of preschool. You uh, made it, Zo. You made it. You made yeah. it. Uh, how's real quick. Cause we didn't even, we kind of yeah, breezed yeah. over this. Awesome. How's your week been? It's good, man. It's been really nice, man. The weather's been like fucking awesome in Austin, man. Not too hot. I mean, it's been hot as fuck, but I've been hooping. Not Oregon hot. Yeah. Yeah. Not Oregon hot, but I've been hooping early in the morning. Been lifting a lot. I, you know, I built a, like a little weight room in my uh, sunroom in my house. Okay. And so I've been lifting there, man, and shit. It's been nice, dude. It's like so much better lifting at my crib. Just like you walk 10 feet to work out instead of having to get in a car, drive, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Be around all them sweaty. I always get into fights with people at, at the gym, man. You? Never. Yeah. I can't see that happening. It happened, man. Because one time I was talking to my dad on the phone, like, because uh, he called me. I had like my earbuds in. I was talking to my dad, and this fucking like annoying ass c word like comes up to me, and she's like, "Hey, can you keep it down? You're talking loud." And I was like, "I don't know why. It just like struck me like at a weird time." You know why? And I was like, "Shut up, bitch!" Because you were in the wrong. <laughs> you can't be talking. You can't be talking. I wasn't in the gym. all loud, dog. First of all, you talking in the gym. You fucking up first, people's. First, their, their, no, their first of all, there's reps. like this girl's over here grunting and shit, being all sweaty and stinky, smelling like butthole. Appropriate you know what I'm gym noises. No, nah, no, nah, that's not. Someone's talking on the phone. Who cares? You, you're, you don't like. Were you, were you still on the machine trying to get reps in talking? Hell yeah. Yeah. See, that's why she nobody came was, at you. nobody was waiting on me. I was like the only person within like a fucking a radius, like a uh, like a. What were you talking radius. about? Knowing you, you were probably dro- you were probably dropping a lot of fuck bombs nah. and shit. You were probably cussing your ass. I was huh? talking to my dad, so no, it was like somewhat PG thirteen. It wasn't PG thirteen, but I mean, it was like you know rated R. Yeah, exactly. Of, like maybe shit. Of bitch. course, Karen got pissed. Yeah, Karen did get pissed, and I told her to shut the fuck up. Did you know BET has a <laughs> you know BET has a movie coming out called Karen? Yeah, dude, I saw it's like a rip off of like the. Uh, uh, People say it's a rip off of Get Out. I don't think it's a rip off of Get Out. It's I just, think it just looks terribly written. But it's, uh, uh, back actually showed it to me last night. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw the preview a couple weeks ago, and I was like, I yeah, just saw the preview last pass. night, and I was like, this is disappointing. Yeah, hard pass. I was like, oh, BET, you're back at it again because BET yeah. always had like the bootleg version yeah, of what dude, other yeah, people did. Yeah, hell yeah. You know, yeah. MTV had Real World, and yeah. and BET had some like some crazy South yeah. Beach shit with like yeah. seven Negroes yelling at each <laughs> yeah, other selling yeah, drugs. Yeah. It was like, they always like, uh, Stacy got her groove back and shit. Total request live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they had Bow Wow on yeah. 106, 106 Park. Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they were always doing like the yeah. bootleg version of what everybody that else was, was doing. was hilarious, man. Hell yeah. It's like the, the black version of Lifetime and shit. You know what I'm saying? To an extent. I mean, yeah. you know, ever since they got rid of Video Soul, yeah, yeah, 1991. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. The only thing that they had that was real after 91 was uh, <laughs> BET Uncut. Mm-hmm. Two o'clock tip drill. You know what I'm saying? Tip drill. Tip drill. Tip you know what I'm drill. talking about, Dre? Say it must oh, yeah. be your ass because it ain't your face. I need a tip drill. I need a tip. <laughs> Swipe that card. Yeah. It must be your ass because it ain't a your face. Tip drill is like a uh, bukkake, right? No. It's not? Uh, no. Tip drill? No. No. Yeah, she's uh, a tip drill. Oh, uh, okay. Like, you know, a tip drill in practice. Tip drill. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought the tip drill, like, everyone comes up and gets a little taste. Exactly. Know? That's oh, exactly what it is. So it's like bukkake. Like, they just, all these girls, like a orgy or something. No, shit. not an Gang orgy. Bang. No, she's a tip drill. Uh, she's, she's a jump off. She's uh, a tip drill. Everybody can get a piece of that. That's uh, what okay. you're saying. Yeah. Not let's all run train on this that's chick. I thought, I thought it was running train. No, no. It's just saying she's a tip drill. <laughs> that's it's easy. She's easy. It's not a playoff game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to be playoff P yeah, to get this. this. Is practice. Yeah, this is practice. Man. Run through. Practice. Swipe a swipe a car through her butt. Yeah, that's um, hilarious. My week's been all right, dog. That's good, man. Uh, I, it's been a busy one. Like I'm I'm busy for like the next ten days. Uh, shit. Like shout out to Monday. I did an interview with uh, Nahar Media. Um, shouting out the podcast and uh, what's up? Just everything. Uh, so I, Monday was Nahar Media. Last night I did the feedback with back. Uh, and then. Friday, my son's graduating. Tomorrow, I got a show. Saturday, a show. Monday, show. Tuesday, show. Um, so it's been like I, I, I really need to like a time. I guess I should have already reset. And yeah, already yeah. been like, but now it's like, oh shit, I got shit going on every day. But like, shout out to like those two shows that had me on and let me promote, uh, do some cross promotion. It was great to have you know, fuck me and back went like two hours last night. Dude, what's up? Uh, so you know, he was on here. You guys check out the feedback uh, and whatnot. And while we're on that subject. Dude, we're at 400 now. 
Oh shit, what's up? We're at 400 now. Killing it. Yo, y'all, uh, hit we that subscribe button. Up, man. Hit yeah. that subscribe button. Do a review too, man. Them things help. Comments. If, so when yeah. Jazz says do a review, he's talking about if you're just on audio only. Yeah, yeah. Like audio, if, you're on, if you're on audio only. Apple Podcasts, like right now, just what you're doing. Take two seconds. Leave a review. <laughs> Leave a These review. guys are the funniest motherfuckers I've ever seen. And if you're watching on you're YouTube, welcome. on Hot Pie Media, hit that subscribe button, yeah. like button, share, uh, all that. We are at 400 subscribers to Hot Pie. Uh, and I will say that we are solely responsible for the, the growth because we've been sitting very <laughs> yeah. stagnant for a long time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've been promoting that shit. We've been man. promoting the yeah. fuck out of it. Let's get Hot Pie Media, get the, the, the platform that that provides us, the place, the, the company that provides us this platform to come yeah. to you guys and talk to you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed and this, let's, let's hit our first milestone of 500. Let's do that. I don't think that's too hard. Uh, we're at 400 yeah. right now. Yeah. So, End of the month. You know, go get 100 of your friends. If you don't have them, make and them. Well, get a hundred okay. of your friends and tell them to hit the button, yeah. share it with somebody. But we're so close to 500, y'all. We're a hundred away. So close. help us hit that first milestone of uh, 500 subscribers on uh, YouTube. And if you're listening on yeah, leave a Spotify, iTunes, like. subscribe, like, leave a review. It'll help other people like you find this show. Uh, I mean, hell, you probably weren't looking for us when you found us, but then you stuck around. Help somebody else find us. Hit that yeah. like button, subscribe button. Don't be stingy. Don't be stingy. You got headlines, Chad? Yeah, I do, man. I got some funny-ass headlines this week, too. Uh, so did you hear about this, man? This shit is fucking hilarious, man. Uh, did you know that the founder of Match.com, Gary Creeman, that's a weird-ass last name, Creeman, lost his girlfriend? Gary or Barry? Gary. Oh, uh, Barry Creeman would be so awesome. <laughs> I know, dude. Barry <laughs> Creeman. Gary Creeman. Uh, lost his girlfriend to a man she met on Match.com. What? How, wait, yeah. what? Explain this. So the dude that invented Match.com. Lost his girlfriend. Lost his girlfriend to someone she met on Match.com. Oh, that's... That's fucked up. That's poor pimping right there. He wasn't, yeah, he wasn't handling his business. Yeah, for real, man. You like create a device, a platform in which you're going to get your pussy that's stolen. Like, that's like throwing a party and losing your girl to a guest at your party. Yeah, yeah. At your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. That's hilarious, man. Uh, that's caused for Gary. you to kill everybody. Yeah, Gary's. Gary's Everybody's like, an accomplice to this. He's like deleting his profile. Like, fuck this motherfucker. He ain't never getting pussy on here again. Well, I mean, <laughs> if he owns Match.com, he's probably got homies credit yeah, card yeah. information. Oh, yeah. He's about to buy some dildos. Oh, all kinds of damn. That, damn a dildo. I'm buying an East African elephant. Yeah. Like, why? I'm buying okay. something stupid. Why not, man? Yeah, for sure. Uh, second headline. <clears throat> this is a serious shit, man, because. More serious than Gary losing his girl? Yeah, this is serious. This is government related shit. Um, there was a couple days ago, man, CBS news. I just hate like the glorification of war and shit that like pisses me off. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So like they, the U S Navy used a 40,000 pound explosive on its own new aircraft carrier. Oh yeah. 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 To I ensure the ship is hardened to withstand battle conditions. And I'm saying like, this is why we can't like, this is what one of the, like no one has healthcare. No one has. Like we got struggling families and everything like that because of shit like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but at What's the same time, it's also cool as fuck that they blew up a bomb on their own shit. Not and the really, shit, man. And What's the shit cool? didn't go down. Like, we guys, we like explosions know, and shit. I know, Doug. But they should have did it on the 4th of July. Shit. Yeah, that's true. They should have. Should have blew but it up. I would much fourth. rather be able to go to the doctor or fucking, uh, you know what I'm saying, like uh, afford child care or something like that. That would be beautiful. That'd yeah. be wonderful, but that's not the country we live in. We live Hell in a country no. that likes to blow shit up. Yeah. And you know what? And re if, like blow up countries and then rebuild them and shit too. If yeah. you're going to blow some shit up, we're like, that's what then fine. You know, you're going to spend your money to blow shit up. <laughs> then you should have 150 cameras there. You should do it on the 4th of July while Star Spangled yeah. Banner is playing in the background over a loudspeaker. Hillbillies out there for that shit. And Try you should 10 you, bucks a ticket. Do that shit. Right in the middle of the biggest lake in Arkansas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they got lakes in Arkansas. I, not, now after, now that they blow up the ship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully they take a couple counties out right. with them. Uh, last headline. This shit is hilarious. I said this to you a couple of days ago. Man arrested for training dog to throw bricks at people ringing his doorbell. That's my shit, man. One thing I do, the first thing, one of the first things I do when I move into a new place is hope and pray to God the doorbell doesn't work, man. Because there's nothing worse than you trying to sleep. Someone comes ring your doorbell because they want to talk about fucking, I don't know tree trimming or gutter cleaning or some shit. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to take a nap. Some asshole does that. So I don't blame this dude. I'd do the same shit. If I could train uh, Bronte to do that shit, all day long. Bronte's not strong enough to throw She's bricks. She's not, but she could tip some over. If I could just like put them, you know, like right next to the door, she could just tip them bitches over. On that, that's hood as fuck, dude. On that same note, uh, the other day, Ashley was looking at the front of our house and uh, she was like, man, we should put something right there in the middle of the front of the house. What do you think? And I was like, 
Like what? Nah. She's like, maybe a sun or a star. I was like, nah, nah. I was like, if you don't put anything there, we could put a cauldron. Yeah, yeah, right. And fill that some bitch oh, up yeah. with hot oil. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker don't come through. Put some uh, booby traps like on Home Alone or some or, shit. Or uh, the Goonies. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, get have your ass Asian upside kid. down in a tree. Yeah, get that Asian kid out here. Who, Peng Dang? Who's <laughs> 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 not allowed around in Austin anymore. Um, no, that's fucking, that's cool. Like, you know, if if but here's my thing. If you could teach your dog to drop bricks on a motherfucker's yeah. head, what what else could you have taught this dog to do? Dude. Instead of drop bricks on somebody's head. Go steal bricks. <laughs> fucking weed and shit. Yeah, go, yeah, that would be man. dope if, the, if he was actually just going to construction sites yeah. and stealing bricks and bringing them home oh, himself. Yeah. Like, I mean, you yeah, could that's what like this. The, he's not making any money off this dog is what I'm saying. And this is also still America. Sleep, this is still America. You that's, got a dog with talent. You should dog. be on America's Got Talent Hell yeah. or something getting money off of this dog. That's why dogs don't yeah. talk because they know if they talk, we put their ass to work. Yeah, that's probably true. Dude. 100%. They should. They've been with us way too long to yeah. not be talking. They'd be doing customer service they, for like exactly. or something. Yeah, shit. work at home, that shit yeah. now after the pandemic, yeah. put a headset on them and then yeah. one, one bark for approved, yeah. two barks for not yeah. approved and shit. Like, there you go. You, they should be able to this do. This dude's using his dog's talent in the wrong way yeah this yeah. is small this is small time thinking you got to go big time with yeah. this shit you guys start thinking outside the box and you could you could be making so much money. why is this dog not robbing banks yeah or just at least stealing cheetos or some shit fuck a cheeto get money <laughs> you can't you can't there's no resale value for cheetos on the black know, market but you, but you could eat all the cheetos man and who doesn't want it cheetos are fucking delicious make money chad we need to get this dog you are you're saving money that you would normally spend on cheetos and there you go don't nobody spend money on cheetos but children <laughs> and di and diabetic <laughs> obese san antonio I, I people i get some cheetos i get some flaming hot cheetos once a month you can't eat them bitches more than once i hope a month. i hope i hope once a day you tell your up. foot it's been nice it's been nice knowing your foot <laughs> you'll be gone eventually <laughs> yeah pretty much man as i pound up fucking as you you say goodbye to your foot and say hello to your new man tits yeah that cheetos yeah. there we go <laughs> you get them sponsored by cheetos too yeah. brought to you by cheetos there we go man you come on here shirtless we can make some money hey, now we're talking look, tell hot pies hit up cheetos man hit up frito lay see can we get some uh, colton Get get Frito Lay on the phone. Let them know that Chad's titties are available for advertising Hell space. Yeah. Can you do that for us, please? You're not doing shit right now. Colton's you're not, not gonna, doing shit right now. Colton's not going to do it. You know why? Because Colton's head looks like he's got a head full of Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn Cheeto head Colton out here. Jesus Christ. We should get advertising money from Cheetos just for having Colton as our producer. It's like, going to be funny as hell when Colton names you in a lawsuit in about three months. And he's like, uh, I've experienced workplace trauma. From you're assuming Cheetos. Colton can read. <laughs> no, he he's can't. a ginger. He's a super smart dude. No, man. he doesn't have a soul. Uh, he's you a, can say whatever you want. He's a ginger. He doesn't have a soul. You say whatever the fuck you want to Colton. <laughs> That's fucked up. Colton. Your life means nothing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm not going that far. Oh, oh, there's no coming back. I mean, you could definitely, for, there's no coming back for Colton, at least. I mean, he could definitely do better, but I'm not going to say he, his life means nothing. Yeah, he looks like the Ghost Rider walking around this bitch. <laughs> He's super no. pale with red hair. <laughs> He's <laughs> digging holes and taking souls. I see you, Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a special guest for you yeah, guys man. today Can't on the Gray Area him Podcast. Very funny dude. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in our guest yeah. for the day. All right, our guest today, a uh, friend of both Chad and I, uh, let's welcome comedian Andre Ricks to the show. Andre, what is up, brother? Hey, you know, that's comedian uh, C-O-M with an A-N at the end instead of E-N-N-E. Oh. Just in case, you know. Comedian? Yeah. Who does that? I did it. Women from New York City. 2021, huh? <laughs> In 1999. It's 2021, huh? <laughs> People don't know. People don't know who you are these days. You got so you're, you're just a comedian. You're not comedian. I'm not the, the, the feminine version. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I am the feminine version. I'm trying to get I in touch people, with my feminine side. I make people call me that, Chad, the comedian. Comedian. Yeah. You know. You know. If you don't, if you don't inflict, you yeah. know, people will be like, oh, he a girl? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I typically perform in a very small... Eight seat theaters in fucking Manhattan. You yeah. know, that's to, that's kind of like my. What little, in the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going yeah, yeah. on? Cosmo, little Cosmo, hey. Little snifters. Hey. That uh, joke offended me. That was racist and homophobic uh, and. Very misogynistic from this hurtful guy, girl, comedian. Yeah. 
I like to wear turtleneck sweaters and um, necklaces on the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Colton, get these motherfuckers out of here, dude. I don't know what's happening. Uh, we're just, you know, Shout out Dre, to you Dre, we like to play a game with our guests on every show. You want to play a game with us? Let's, Let's do, do it, it, man. All right. Uh, by special request from Chad, this week's game will be Julian's oh, yeah. Gal. What? This is my shit. The way this works, Dre, is we go to uh, juliansauctions.com. And I'm going to give you an item that was auctioned off there. Okay. And uh, and you're going to take guess. a guess at what you think that auctioned off for. Oh, price is right. Let's do Basically, yeah, yes. Much, price yeah. is right. Closest without going over gets the point. Okay. All right. Yep. You ready for this? Yep. Uh, Chad, are you ready for this? Let's do it, man. All right. This, uh, all, of these op- all of these items on today's game were uh, auctioned off at the Icons and Idols Rock and Roll Auction October 25th and 26th, 2019, New York, New York. Okay, so these are used items? Yeah, these are like okay. it's supposedly. Like yeah. Supposedly, supposedly, supposedly these is used. Yeah. But some of this shit is mad questionable, which yeah. is why how they obtain this shit. How they how they okay. get a lot of this shit is like yeah. touched rough. by greatness. Yeah, pretty y- much. You'll see. Okay. For for instance, we'll start off uh we'll start off warm you up real slow. Let's go. Whitney Houston 1980 high school yearbook. Oh shit. How much do you think that auctioned off for? Okay, so this was before Crackhead Whitney, and this and we'll usually I would I would go I would give you a price, price but th- this time just throw it out. I want to hear what you guys All actually right. think this went for. Okay, nineteen eighties Whitney Houston. High was she school. in high school in high, in nineteen eighty? This is her yearbook. This is her high school yearbook. Okay, so this is somebody got their hands on Whitney Houston's high school yearbook and they auctioned it off. How the fuck they got Whitney Houston's high school yearbook is beyond me. I'm gonna say uh, somebody six, signed six a crack grand. though. Six grand. Yeah. Six grand for Whitney yeah. Houston's. High school yearbook? I'm going to say uh, somebody probably hocked that for about 22,000. 22,000? 22,000. For a yearbook? Damn. All right. Both of y'all are way over. Bring it down. Okay. They bring it down. Y'all are thinking. 800. Okay. What you got? $800? All right. I'm going to say 21,000. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't want to be you know, yeah, too y'all. Y'all, right y'all are still y'all are still way over. You're still way over, both of you. Way over. Bring it down. Okay. All right, all right. Damn, I'm still over. Still over. Eight hundred. Still over. Sixty-seven dollars. Okay, what oh, you got? You get real now. Damn. <laughs> hey, thirteen fifty-one. Huh? <laughs> Point goes to Chad. I said thirteen fifty-two. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is it sixty-seven or thirteen fifty-two? Sixty-seven. Yeah. Okay. Point goes to Chad. How much? Uh, that yearbook auctioned off for one hundred ninety-two dollars. Damn, that's nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you set your was it standards signed? way too. It wasn't ooh. signed. No, I mean nah. I'm sure somebody signed the crack, but they wasn't Whitney. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was just there was some dried but, up blow in the back. How did you one hundred and ninety-two dollars? Would you? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, old man. Next up on the docket, Little Kim, girls' cruise worn bikini. She oh, there's some do. pervert out there that probably pay like. But, how much would you yeah, pay to get shit. syphilis? Yeah, yeah. Uh, after the, the fact, post mortemly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, based on that last Whitney Houston, I'm gonna say this is Lil Kim. Lil Kim, girls' cruise yeah. worn. This is a bikini she wore on a girls' cruise. All right, I'm gonna say She's nineteen thousand. No, oh. but that I mean. Oh, I thought you said because the bikini she ain't wearing oh, it no yeah, more, yeah. and you know. Uh, I'll say uh, how much? What did you say? Nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Why you think this shit worth so much, man? <laughs> it's Lil Kim's bikini. It feels right. It feels right. <laughs> It was like yeah, it, it, it might it might have felt right in '96, but in 2021, that's a little loose. Yeah, oh, it got sold in 2021. It got sold in 2019. 2019. Oh, okay. Well, in that uh, case, eighteen thousand. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say fifty three dollars. Are you just gonna undershoot everything now? That's a good. No, dog. I'm just saying, it's little Ken. Whitney Houston is like way yeah. that Whitney more Houston popular threw, than us both up. Yeah. Oh, well, you get the point again for going low. Um, it was not fifty three, and it was definitely not eighteen thousand. But this little Kim, <laughs> that's shocking. Man. Girls cruise worn bikini it. was auctioned off for one thousand two hundred eighty dollars. Somebody could have got seventeen more thousand dollars for that. <laughs> <laughs> not from you. Sure. You're just saying. If I had it, okay. Yeah. Oh, you ain't. If you had another seventeen thousand, oh, you're not gonna spend it on a little Kim bikini. You don't know me though. He'll be you don't broke. Know, you don't know so me fast. with seventeen thousand extra. <laughs> I, but I, I, I would assume that that's. 17,000 extra would go to upgrading 
your living arrangement so that you can get like <laughs> some hydraulics <laughs> in the van. Why are you shitting on my van? I'm not shitting on the van. I'm saying no, a, 17 thousand. You can do like some a... dope shit. You can put a unicorn on the side of that motherfucker. You can get some of them hangy ball things. <laughs> yeah, the you can nuts. get a glow. You can get a get them uh, nuts on the uh, back of the van, man. A disco ball in the that bitch. On the get back. them nuts like over by the. There's a the lot exhaust. of there's a lot of dope shit you could do I'm at 17 thousand. Little Kim's doo doo streaks on the back. Of my van. <laughs> That's an upgrade right there. I'm gonna hang little Kim's bikini cow nuts. Who got cow nuts just dangling in the bitch. Pitbull nuts just staying. I, I was I, I was wondering on my way over here what the over under was before someone mentioned his van. And you know, it's, people be like really trying to shit on me, but it's like I made this choice. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, this was a we got we got to talk yeah. about that. Man. We, no, we will. We we're gonna get this, into yeah. that. Like, yeah. I definitely want to talk about. Yeah, I think that. it's hilarious. I think it's awesome. Uh, I respect it because <laughs> the freedom. You can't freedom. shit on somebody for their choice. It's like right, right. It's not like somebody kicked you into your van. You was like, no, I'm gonna do this. Which, which, if y'all want to talk about later, but I just watched that movie No Mad Land. Y'all seen that one? No, with the bitch that was she moves into the van because the whole city got shut. The whole zip code got shut down. Damn, like. You're like, I'm already ready for this shit. <laughs> but she gets into it. She makes it. It's so sad. It's yeah. So, you know, it's like, wow, yeah, you, I'm happy. you had the And you sit in your van watching it, eating fucking Cheetos, yeah, going, this mm, fucking mm, bitch. Mm, it ain't like this at all. Yeah, water, right. This, uh, they, they, <laughs> didn't, they didn't catch it. They didn't catch the essence of this know, at all. Why she go to Arizona? She should have came to Austin. <laughs> <She didn't>. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been van buddies and shit, <laughs> man. We could have shared a parking lot. Tripping. All right. Next on the docket. Gray Area Podcast. Oh, Julian's well. got what game next up? Who is Julian? This is the dude. That That's we, 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 we're trying to find Julian. Julian. We're trying to find Julian. Oh, yeah. Y'all stole this game. No, we ain't stole the game. We made no. the game. We made the, who the, the fuck is Julian? The, the website. The website. They're, they're the auction company. Julian's oh, Auctions. So he That's picks out of Beverly Hills. Julian ain't shit. He ain't. He's a I, thief. I know he, we know, I know he is. I know. I, know he, I feel like he is. It's probably really in West Hollywood, but they say Beverly Hills. They're like it's pretty much. I mean, it's practically. It's like Beverly Wood. They're like it's pretty much Beverly Hills though. Yeah. Next up. Hey, speaking of, <laughs> I spent the night in Beverly Hills in my van. Just Dude, look next at up, you, dog. big baller. And, wait, hold on. Woke the, up right next to the Jews. Big and, baller. <laughs> and, and the van made it back? You see me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it out there, right? You see me, dog. Yeah. Uh, Kurt Cobain custom built and played guitar with, with a letter from Courtney Love. Oh, shit. The letter probably said, you suck, you should kill yourself. Yeah. Uh, but I there's a letter from, yeah, yeah, but she also says shit like that to him. Leave yeah, the door sure. unlocked. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the kit is under the sink. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, yeah. Okay. Kurt Cobain custom built and played guitar with a letter from Courtney Love. What do you think that auction's uh, off for? I'll say $85,000. Oh, okay. So now, oh, okay. You, now you can, now you, now you can big wheel. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying because I know there's some grunge head goofball out there. It's like yeah. Kurt Cobain was the best man. And the letter puts it over the yeah, top. This yeah. is just like fucking custom made. shows their love and everything, man. Okay. What you say? 85? Yeah. Thousand? Yeah. All right. I'm going to say uh, $200. <laughs> How much it costs? I know I'm right. <laughs> I won this one. <laughs> I see you undervaluing the white people's shit. You know what I'm saying? But you're like overvaluing. What you talking about? Eh? The black people stuff. What was the second right. one? What was the second right, item? Man. This subtle racism that we see every day kids. that people just don't even. <laughs> the Kurt Cobain <laughs> custom built and played guitar with letter from Courtney Love. All right, no Point problem. goes to Chad. It London. was it was auctioned off for three hundred forty thousand dollars. God damn, nah, dude! You know I, I went even low because I knew that. that shit was high. Three hundred forty <laughs> forty thousand dollars. Somebody, Dude. Could, hey, it was mostly for the letter. I bet. <clears throat> yeah, I was, I was gonna say because that guitar. Like, there's probably a million fucking Kurt Cobain used guitars somewhere. Sure. You know what I'm saying, but this one's custom built. Custom well, built. Oh, oh custom well, okay. built. <coughs> Damn, I would have paid at least eighteen thousand for it. <laughs> Next up, talking to me. Yeah, you twenty dollars for this. Elton shirt. John, Bernie <laughs> Toppin, I can't even. Goodbye, play. Yellow Brick Road. Handwritten lyrics in a custom frame. From the Beatles, Elton, Elton John. John and Bernie <laughs> he said Toppin. From the Beatles. Yeah, you remember when Elton John started the Beatles? That was a great right. fucking year. This is Elton John, Bernie <laughs> Toppin. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Handwritten lyrics in a custom frame. Dre, how much do you think that auctioned off for? Easy seven seventy five hundred. <laughs> 7500 <laughs> Easy. Okay. I think that's a good number. I'm going to say uh, $7499. i am just let $74? $7499. Yeah. $7499. Bob Barker in my shit right now. Is that, what is, is that, is that what's happening? He's Bob Barker in the shit Bob out of you? Bob Barker, yeah. <laughs> He's playing the prices right. Yeah. But I'm right. You said 74 Actually, I said 70. 
I, I, I want to say 7501. 7501. You're saying 7501? You're saying 75? Yeah, but he gets twice. Just remember that. Everybody watching. Who watch? Chad's making up rules. You know white people making up rules, right? Subtle racism. We see every day. Making up the rules as he goes along. Hey, this is how how we got to where we are. You know, we we move the goalposts constantly. Who could be mad at? Yeah. When you win, you get the right. Who had the highest bid? (laughs) Me. He got 75. All right, well, then Chad gets the point because this went for. $70,400. Seventy thousand four hundred dollars. This is how America was born. This is how, <laughs> this is how we built this fucking country. Wait, right? This this game is rigged for white people. They know about auctions. When's the last time yeah. you went to an auction? Last uh, time we was at an auction. Twice, that- yo, yo, I don't even want to make the joke. I'll let you finish. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all. Hey, now it's black, was, hey, now black la- on black crime. Last time we was at an auction. <laughs> he started. Yeah, it, and yo, now we fighting. <laughs> I was, I was the, uh, like the auctioneer. It was the transgressor. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, Chad, yeah, Chad's sitting there and with the Leonardo all... DiCaprio face. <laughs> yeah, looking at us. Like, yeah. yeah, watch them kill each other. Uh, <laughs> that one's probably worth. It. All right, just let's go. We got we got two <laughs> left. Look, we got two left. Two. Yeah, two yeah. left. Right. Uh, next on the docket, Jimi Hendrix signed. Are you experienced album? Bro. Oh shit, Jimi Hendrix on, signed. Yeah. Are you, you experienced album? Yeah, we both gonna say ten thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually gonna say fifty grand. Fifty grand for yeah. Chad. What do you got? Are you going ten? Fifty grand. Yeah. I'm gonna say uh, ten thousand dollars, dog. Ten thousand. Point to Andre. Oh yes. shit! What do we go for? Is this a comeback? Is this a comeback? Is not enough time for a comeback. But <laughs> yeah. Is, well, I, I, you get a little momentum for the next game. Yeah, though. yeah. Technically, um, I won the last one, but anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. y'all. That's between y'all two. I ain't got yeah. nothing to do with that. Uh, this Jimi Hendrix signed "Are You Experienced" album auctioned off for forty four thousand eight hundred dollars. So close. So we're doing the closest without going over. Yeah, yeah. price oh, is right. Shit. Price is right. Okay. Price is right. So. Price is right. All right, last I mean, one. Technically, I was closer. You, know. you were closer, but yeah, you went but you, over uh, the rules. Stuff you forgot to change the rules. Remember, remember <laughs> your remember your seventy five hundred one. You just went seventy five hundred one. Two thousand one, man. What the fuck? All right, last one. What's the last one? Last one. <laughs> Gray area podcast. Julian's got what? what? Julian's got what? An, <laughs> Julian's <laughs> got an uh, Elvis Presley nineteen seventy six Harley Davidson XLH Sportster one thousand. Oh fuck! What do you think that auction uh, off for? It allegedly began everything. belonged to I Elvis. This, I seen this on American Pickers dog sixty two thousand fifty dollars and thirteen cents. Okay, sixty two thousand. Fifty dollars and thirteen cents. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say seventy five thousand. Even seven. You don't want to add no change. No. Okay. <laughs> seventy five thousand thirty seven cents. Okay. There you go. Uh, this actually auction. Chad gets the point. Ugh. Elvis Presley, nineteen seventy six Harley Davidson XLH Sportster one thousand auction off for one hundred six thousand two hundred fifty dollars. God damn. He probably wrote it once too. Yeah. But his fat ass in 1976. Yeah. Oh yeah. He can only balance on it that one time. Yeah. Hell yeah. That big old. That was fat Elvis. You got to be going about 50 miles an hour for him to for the centrifugal forces to keep him (laughs) on the bike. Keep his ass on there. Y'all leave the king alone, though. (laughs) All right. All right. Man. Have you ever listened to Elvis? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, do you know any Elvis songs know, besides? Do you like, know? Do you even know a title of an Elvis song? Uh, He's like Achy Breaky uh, Heart. <laughs> nah, dog, that's Billy Ray Cyrus. Of course, you know that. Uh, I don't. You born and raised in Lubbock? I was. I was kind of raised. So you know some Buddy Holly shit, right? Buddy Holly. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've, I've been to Lubbock, man. Yeah, we got the big ass glasses. Yeah, man. We just cracked on uh, Lubbock the whole time we were there, man. It was hilarious. That's. I mean. When did you move to Lubbock? Feels right. Uh, fourth grade. Where were you at before then? I was in Homestead, Florida for a year or two. And then uh, I was in San Angelo before that. So you're a Florida man? Born, but mostly Texas. I was born in Colorado. Born oh, in Colorado. Shit. I was born in Denver. Was your wrong. family military or something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But they got divorced. That's why I moved. Got you. So my, my pops moved from Denver. My family moved from Denver to San Angelo Air Force Base. Good fellow. And then they got divorced. Me and my mom, my sister went to Florida gotcha. for a year or something. Then I came back to West Texas. Oh, with my okay. Pops in Lubbock. How, how was uh, the Lubbock experience? Like my uh, my wife was. That's good. Uh, her family was there. Like my uh, father in law was up in Lubbock. He uh, at Texas Tech, yeah. coaching yeah. Uh, track and field. Yeah. Uh, and my brother, my oldest brother in law, Abe, he's a he's a Red Raider. Yeah. What yeah, was my that? Pops, what was... My pops graduated. It's cool. You I did ride, a show ride there. your bike across the city or shit? It's yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's no crime. It's man. like super no crime. No crime. I mean, since barely when? any crime, though. Since when? Ah, uh, you know. 
They got <laughs> pumpkin patches out there like a motherfucker, don't pumpkin they? Pumpkin patches, make corn maize. Bro, there's crime out there. Shit. I don't know what he's talking about. Ah, there's crime, but it's not like, you don't got to really worry. The only crime you got to worry about there is murder. Everything else is yeah, cool. Yeah, only people, everybody knows everybody. <laughs> well, so it's like, like pick your pocket or anything. The, don't, the only crime in yeah. Lubbock are hate crimes. That's yeah, it. That's right. It's, nah. it's, that's it. It's just hate crimes. Don't look like... Everybody knows everybody. So mm-hmm. if you really got to kill somebody, it's like, it's like oh, that was Clarence. That's, that's all his ass. Yeah, like, I know. <laughs> I know Clarence. I yeah. saw him yesterday. There ain't no real like. Yeah. You ride your bike across the city. No more. You walk across the city. No more. Oh wow, it's that small. Yeah. Damn. Take you like uh, to get from West Loop to maybe East Loop, maybe forty five minutes, thirty five minutes on a bike. Yeah. Who's riding a bike for forty five minutes straight? You ain't got shit to do. I ain't shit to do in love it. Public transportation is shit. Yeah. If your parents don't want to take you somewhere, you hop on your bike with your friend, you go across the city. Okay. You walk if you want to. <clears throat> and just take stop two at hours. somebody else's yeah. house. <laughs> <laughs> how long how long were you there? Like when did you leave Lubbock? I left when I graduated in uh, two thousand five. When you graduated at high school? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Came straight to Austin? Went to San Antonio yeah. for a year, went to UTSA. Okay. Oh shit! Could have made the basketball team. Started smoking weed. Then I didn't really want to play college every, ball. Every every, every, yeah, every brother that's when you found out. Like hey, you know what? After I started smoking weed, I realized I just didn't want to play college yeah. basketball. Every brother in San Antonio to, is eligible to make the team. Like all you got to do is be black in San Antonio. You can make the UTSA team. Maybe maybe back there. I mean, I could. I was I was at the gym like hooping with him though. You know what okay. I mean? Like Rex and you got you got a little game. No, he I does. Play. You got a little game. I can play. Yeah, yeah I played with Andre a few times. I'm, I'm trying to tell him me him, me him and. Uh, we, uh, me, him, and Mikey need to get a, like a little three on three, thirty and over league or we some take shit. Somebody, yeah, start wearing we sweatbands, some wristbands and shit. Yeah. Well, Ka- wear, Caleb coming off the bench for you, uh, dude. Caleb, Caleb can hoop, man. Yeah, we can get Caleb, Caleb on there. I don't know Caleb, Caleb Reimer, you know Caleb? Oh yeah, he can play. Yeah, dog. I, I could have swore he we hooped with him before. Nah, uh, now nah, he can play, man. He's really? got a J. Yeah, dude, he's surprisingly good. Yeah. yeah, you can you can surprise some motherfuckers. Show up to a playground, like I'll take the the goofy white dude. Yeah. I'll take like, Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, some white men can't jump type shit. They're yeah. like, ah, let's put fifty dollars on it. I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's come out there just fucking stroking shit, really? just doing fucking hook shots and shit, dude. A dude can ball, man. Surprise dude's me. good. Yeah. Man, so one of one of one of my favorite stories about you, oh, yeah. uh, is is kind of your pandemic. It's not not my favorite story uh, for <laughs> bad reasons, but you have like an interesting story, and I still haven't got the whole story. Um. And you ain't got to go into the, the nitty gritty details, but you like during the pandemic, everybody shut the fuck down. And Dre was like, hey, y'all, I'm going to New York. Yeah. And I, I know Chad and I were both like, why are you why are you going to the mm-hmm. epicenter when this shit is like you got yeah. there right yeah. before shit popped off real bad. Yeah. But like did then, you leave in like February, March, March? Oh, shit, yeah. So like, like as right shit was shutting down, you were right. like, I'm yeah. going into that bitch. Yeah. And then you ended up like driving cross country. Yeah. Like you were all over, you were all over <laughs> the United you, States, Colorado, right? I literally drove from New York to L.A. during the pandemic. Damn! Wait, from Austin not to straight, New York? Not straight, but to L.A. I went from New York to Lubbock. I came from Lubbock to Austin to pick up my van, and went from Austin back <laughs> to Lubbock, fixed up the van, and then went from Lubbock, stopped a couple of times, but ended up in L.A. That's what was you doing out in L.A.? I was gonna move out there. Yeah, I was gonna move out there and yeah. do comedy and shit, and but uh. Nothing was happening, and then the air quality was so bad because that's when you say you're gonna fires. move out there. You don't really. You mean you was gonna drive out there, right? What you mean? <laughs> no, I mean I was gonna. <laughs> you was gonna move your van from Austin. See, that's <laughs> you see, he was taking I'm shots sorry. right now, right? You see, I'm he was not taking, taking shots. shots. No, I'm just saying. This you is see, he was taking the I shots feel like right. This now. Interview is over. I don't know, <laughs> I'm saying we just got to talk about. I'm just saying. I feel like we covered everything. This interview. I'm saying we just got to be, you know, correct. What? Yeah. No. I moved that van <laughs> to LA. Dude, what what was going what's going through your mind though to fucking to move across country During a three pandemic, times yeah. in the in the pandemic. What do I give a fuck about a pandemic? <laughs> that, I don't exactly. know. That, uh, exactly. Yeah, but, what I care. <laughs> what I care. <laughs> I don't know what do you, that's why I'm asking you. you I don't think know I value you, my life. Clearly not. <laughs> clearly not. You think I got something to live for? <laughs> Fuck. There's nothing happening. I, There's nothing every day. going on. I just waste money. Wake up in a van. I don't give a fuck. I ain't got no kids. Gas was cheap. My parents are taken care of. They did well for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are on your own, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. If I die first, I ain't leaving nobody. 
No, no debt? No grief? Yeah. <laughs> Except my parents, but you know. They like, yeah. too, so, yeah. But everybody else like, hey, Dre's gone. What are you going to do? I got nothing. I'm My days are day to day. It's always been like that. That's awesome, man. Always. It's never so you just on a like whim that. was like, fuck it, we're going to LA. Via, well, well, we're going to go to Lubbock and then. Well, I knew I was going to do comedy. Okay. So yeah. I, and I couldn't do it in New York because I couldn't be around my ex. Right. And I didn't want to keep running into it like that. And plus, New York was so expensive. I was paying rent out there too. Damn. This whole time I paid rent. For like eight months. Fuck. I got like $8,000. I, I lived there. It was a year lease. I think I lived there for three months. Fuck that. I paid the whole lease. Oh, you a better man than me. Yeah, I'd have been like, peace out. You know I mean? Yeah, I, I had the money coming in, so it was like, give it right back. That's fucked up. Well, then she can't talk no shit on you. And if she do. Tell she owe you $8,000. Yeah. It's in the wash, though. Money comes, money goes. <laughs> I got I, it back. It's in the market. Yeah, yeah. it's in the market. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you and Ty got it in Bitcoin, huh? <laughs> yeah. What? No, I don't understand that. I don't understand cryptocurrency. Yes, Ty. Ty swears strange. by it so hard, though. Yeah, but that shit is way down right now. Is since, it? Since we started, yeah. since I started talking to Ty about it, that shit is way down. It's, yeah, and they're like, and nah, man. I'm it's looking gonna, at him like it's gonna, it's gonna come back up, man. Yeah, it's I'm like, not oh, worried yeah. about it. All right, when your ass broke, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm over here on you Target. Worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> Target don't stop, <laughs> dude. When I uh, when I pulled up to the studio today and I saw you in the van, yep. I got like for a split second, man. I got like jealous of shit. I'm not gonna yep. lie. I was like, dude, because I mean, you know, like of course I love my life. My life is the shit. Sure. I'm super happy. Happiest I've ever been. But for a second, man, I was transported back to like before I had responsibility. <laughs> like this could have been me. Yeah, yeah. And I was looking at you like this. Yeah, dog. I was I I, I was so close. I was almost like there. Yeah. I was yeah. almost there. I used to my life used to be like that where everything could fit. Like when I moved to Austin, I, I packed up a fucking Ford Taurus mm -hmm. and came down here. That's the only possessions I had when I got here was a fucking what what could fit in a Ford Taurus. How much in there? Yeah. And so when I saw you today, man, when I was driving past and I, I waved at you and saw you I thought for a second I was like damn he just goes wherever he wants man <laughs> like shit yeah, that's kind of cool man I can just move around yeah I could be in Atlanta chill for six months I got a <laughs> yeah. place to stay yeah you know that's I mean? that's fucking crazy got man got money on target yeah like I said <laughs> Jesus <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's moving up. yeah I thought about it for a second man I was like oh man that's gotta be so freeing like to know you weren't scared it's at any point on. yeah right you nah, weren't scared in, when you were when you were driving register, across the country and nah, shit I don't register fear the same <laughs> Look at this. What you, I think Willis what you mean to say here. is I was ah, damn. you were numb. <laughs> you had just went through some emotional trauma. You were numb to nah, all that, of that? No, nah, I moved to Puerto Rico on my own for five months. Damn. By myself. Like I don't register the the fear wasn't like I can't go or I'll be scared to not be with anybody. Right. My fear is more like uh being bored and like commitment to like something. Like I'm scared yeah. to like sign a lease. Yeah, I'm yeah. scared to like sign like a car note. Oh wow! Like commitment is my problem. That's crazy. Like really committing and like saying I'm gonna do this for the next thirty years, or something. unless it's like a house, which is gonna make me money. But it's like commitment is my problem. Moving is not a. Problem. Dude, I'll dude. go. In, I'll be in Japan tomorrow if I feel it. Yeah. So you've been to what Sweden or Switzerland? I've been to Sweden, Istanbul, Mexico City, Canada, Puerto Rico, all over the states. Puerto Rico. Yeah. And I've been uh, moving is not a problem. Moving is easy. How long, like, so was yeah. five months in Puerto Rico the longest you were uh, at any of these international stops that you made? Yeah. Are they mostly just, like, vacations? Or what? Like, why were you in Puerto Rico for five? I was going to move out there. So what did you do while you were there? Got an apartment and shit. Got jobs. Job doing what? Working on the beach. Do you Dude, speak that's Spanish? that's awesome, man. <laughs> huh? Do you speak Spanish? Yo entiendo mucho. Pero no sé todo. Enough to fucking work? Hey, y vivir and to live. Okay. <laughs> like what was what was the Puerto Rico experience like? Like was the was the nightlife crazy? Were you out partying and shit? Like uh, it was I've never been to Puerto Rico. Puerto so. Rico's live though. It's like it's live. You been to Puerto Rico? No. Nah. You know how quiet it is in this building? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Complete opposite. Yeah. Everywhere. It's like people just live loud. They talk. They got it's like a the, the dudes are pretty loud. It's, it's great. Puerto Rican people are very loud. That's what I heard. They're very right. communal people. And then yeah. you turn the corner and there's a fucking like conga line and shit. People hook. That's Damn, y'all turning out on a Tuesday. Shit. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. No shit. That's great. But tons of poverty. Yeah. Poverty everywhere. You know what I mean? And like, uh, you know, poverty comes crime and shit. You can't really yeah, yeah. Right, right. So I ran into this lady. She was selling like uh, chairs and umbrellas. Sias y sombrillas on the, on the beach. And uh, I got to talking to her. She was an older lady. And she's like, what are you doing here? And I was like, oh, I just came to visit. Check it out. 
She was like, yeah, you don't want to be here. She was like, you can't trust these people. They're backstabby. They're lazy. Damn. And this was like five months in. And I started thinking about it. And I was like, all right. And then you realized she stole your wallet while you were talking to her? Nah, she was cool. Okay. She was cool? <laughs> she was cool. The Hot Dog Mafia, they were wild. The what? Hot Dog Mafia? The fuck God is the Hot damn. Dog Mafia? Yeah, that's a whole, oh, that's a whole shit. other podcast. I really got no, it's not a whole other <laughs> podcast. I want to know. Like, I've never the heard of dog, this shit. So uh, this dude from Dallas, he said he was from Dallas. I met him while I was working at the restaurant. And he created his own job. His job was to take food. Because the restaurant opened up to the beach, right? Mm -hmm. It's like an open air. Yeah. And then like. 30 feet was the beach. Boom. Mm -hmm. Big ass beach. So he took it upon himself to be the guy that gets food from the restaurant to the people on the beach. They didn't have this job. <laughs> so he was like Uber Eats right, on, on the foot. beach? On foot. Okay. Yeah. And so he starts doing this. And uh, but there's already people selling hot dogs on the beach. <laughs> and they start giving him shit. They're like, uh, oh, <laughs> They're motherfucker. Like, nah, you take it's it our bad. turf, bitch. So they start harassing them and shit. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, the hot dog mafia was real though. Dude, <laughs> it sounded like that story didn't end well for that guy. Yeah. Uh, his life probably didn't end well. He was a wild dude. Okay. <laughs> he was a wild boy. <laughs> what city was this? Uh, this was in Isla Verde. Isla Verde in Carolina, which is like, most people fly in the old San Juan or they take a cruise trip in the old San Juan and this is like 15, 20 minutes from there. What side of the island is that? Is that like south side, west side, north side? Oof. Man, don't give me the line. I want to say uh, south east. Okay. Wherever Old Town wanted. Next question. Where on the map exactly is Puerto Rico? <laughs> okay, so think Florida. Okay. Actually, think, you know, South America? Yes. Venezuela is yeah. at the top. Uh -huh. It's on the northwest side. Okay. If you're looking from the coast of Venezuela, northwest or north, you'll see Puerto Rico. So it's that far down. Is it? I thought it was like, you know, uh, not too far from Cuba and shit. Nah, it's, it's further than that. I, I never. On so you just flew down. There? I never. I've yeah. never known that. I never knew where the fuck bucks. Puerto Rico was for four hundred. Four hundred. You just flew down there with like whatever luggage you had and just. Yeah, I think I had like uh, one bag or something. Damn, dude. I'm telling you, moving's not it hard. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck. You're like, I just bag. need a book bag. Yeah. That's crazy. Staying man. is good uh, for you. I get bored easy. Yeah. So. You bored right now? No, this is fun. I, okay. I hate that we gotta go. <laughs> exactly. We ain't going nowhere. We got another ten minutes or so. We straight. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm more like a three hour podcast kind of guy. Oh shit, yeah. We'll get I'm trying. I'm hand. trying to get these stories out <laughs> you because I know you got some, and <laughs> you holding back. I'm, I know. I'm trying to find out what shit. happened to you on the road <laughs> I forgot, I forgot. in in goddamn pandemic. Nothing really. I mean, I ran into. Uh, you know, I went to my mom's house, kicked it with her. Did some shit go down in New Mexico? Didn't you get chased by like um, some white folks in New Mexico or something? What? I'm just, these are stories I heard. Uh, I told you that. Uh, the, the world. The streets be it's talking. Like, yeah, it's like all I these. I got chased by white people? Yeah. In New Mexico? In New Mexico. Somebody said that. Maybe. Out loud. Maybe. <laughs> or via text. It's like all this uh, this legend shit. They're like, but hey, you've man, got heard, legends. I'm trying to figure I out. I fucking uh, cut a tiger's balls off. <laughs> yeah, <and> right. <laughs> threw them at somebody and shit. You're like, what? It's, like, yeah. it's crazy. This guy's nuts. It's Andre, man. This guy's nuts, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, literally. Here you go. <laughs> this guy's nuts, man. No, that's never happened. <laughs> Get chased by white people in New Mexico? Yeah, don't you? Dog, I don't forgot so much shit. I yeah, know. I bet he probably did. I just forgot. It could have happened. Possibly. <laughs> <It's> probably happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, uh, dude, that's fucking what? awesome. Dude, so like, you used to, like, this is something I always wonder, like, you drove a bus here in Austin for a while. Yeah, the city bus for like four years. Dude, that shit was hilarious. One time, man, I was chilling at my house. This shit is this is one of the funniest stories ever, dude. Hold I was chilling at my house, man, and uh, I was—I forget who I was with at that time. It wasn't but, Gina. Yeah. No, nah, it was like some other fucking girl. And uh, I'm sitting there chilling, and uh, all of a sudden, I get a knock on my front door, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" I go out there, and it's Andre standing on my front porch, and he's like, "Hey, what's up, man?" I'm like. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? He's like, I brought the bus. And I was like, what? Yeah, the bus parked. I was in uniform. I was at work driving that bus. Were there people on the bus? Yeah, it was like one dude, but he was asleep. <laughs> he stopped the bus just to come over and say what's up. Yeah. And, and I lived on Altorf. Like, my, this is a busy ass street. Altorf is one of the busiest streets in Austin. That's pretty busy. And I lived on. But you street. can stop a bus wherever you want to and hit the fucking lights, too. and people are gonna go around. Yeah. Yeah, this nobody's gonna question day. it. That's what I did. I this is He just came and say, "What's up?" I was like, "All right." I was like in the middle of eating. I was like, "All right, yeah, you dude." Pizza. Yeah, yeah. yeah pizza. He's like, "All right." I was like, "All right, man." Well, like two in the afternoon. Like, All right, man. I'll see you later. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> I was like, "All right." Two in the afternoon. Yeah, eating pizza. Dude, this shit was hilarious, man. I was just like, "What the fuck?" And then uh, whoever I was with was like, 
who was that? I was like, that was my friend Andre he stopped a goddamn Cap Metro bus in the middle of Altorf just to say hi and shit. Like, the say, fuck? what's up? I was like, oh, that's right. <laughs> Chad does live there. And this Jesus. dude on the I bus. I think he was there like the night before. I think he was kicking it like the night before. Probably. Yeah. That was, a, that was another story. I raced, oh, I raced from your house to the to Metro to get oh, the bus. Oh, fuck. I remember like that shit, 20 dude. 20 minutes. I had oh, to be at work shit. in like 20 minutes. I was like, oh, shit. We was like drunk doing cocaine and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, fuck, I got to get to work. And I couldn't call in because I had called in so many so times. So many times. They would have fired me. So I was like, nah, I'm going to make it. <laughs> so I raced, boom, smashed up. Was got on the bus. Shit. And then uh, I was driving that bus. He's calling me. Yeah, he's oh, yeah, calling I was calling me. Like, bus. Like, Yo, man, <laughs> I, I made it. I, I made it. Like, Don't fuck? worry, dog. And then I got in trouble because I was driving that bus so, like, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucked up. And I was, yeah. God damn. They kind of... Uh, I think I got suspended for like three days. Dog, that's hilarious. you like, shit, what? I just call off. I get fired, so you Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, I'll take a suspension. I'll take three days. I think the night before, that's when we were, uh, you were trying to convince us that we should rob somebody. You yeah, remember that? Yeah, real high, bro. Real high. <laughs> he was like, hey, man, Sounded you want to like rob somebody? Idea. I was like, I mean, who are you talking about? <laughs> like, how are we going to do this? Hold on. Was I there? Because I remember having <laughs> a conversation have. about robbing people with, yeah. with you at Chad's house. You might have. It was when Kenny. I lived on Kenny on Zilker. He wasn't doing it. No, I, no, I don't think I would. I don't think he was there. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think maybe, we, maybe there's a separate conversation about oh, robbing yeah, people. Probably oh, you might have been there in the lift. You yeah, know, I'd have talked about robbing people a couple times. Have you ever, <laughs> have you ever, have you ever robbed somebody in Puerto Rico? And I don't know, I like maybe it. 2015. This between? is 2000. Uh, That's fucking 13. hilarious. Bro. 13. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that Lubbock shit. Y'all yeah, just want to yeah. knock people over for nothing. Because you, uh, you ain't done shit your whole life in Lubbock, so now you want to come out here and live the boys in the hood lifestyle. <laughs> nah, nah. Everybody want to be old dog until it's time to be old dog. I don't even know who old dog is, but listen. <laughs> One good robbery could set you up for life. <laughs> Don't ever forget that, kids. <laughs> you don't School believe don't work out for you. Listen, all you need is one good, one good job, and if, you're good. If them grades ain't coming through for you, just remember. <laughs> Ask Columbus. That economics teacher got money. <laughs> <laughs> all you need is a ski mask and a sharp object, motherfucker. And, some, and, and patience. Yeah, hell yeah. And just sit on that house for three patience. years. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be, you gotta be real. If you Just catch it. him slipping one day. One day. On. You find the routine. Oh, yeah. oh, this nigga like bagels every Thursday at two o'clock. Okay. Yeah, got you. Okay. Yeah. This is this is the real reason Dre got a van because he wanted to be. Able, he never knew people. when he was gonna strike, yeah, so he, he just wanted to be able to stop people. Who just it's hard to case people in that van. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, man. Yeah, yeah. They're get, like, man, get out. Somebody's yeah. it's an old ice cream truck outside, yeah. man. It's this rape van hanging out in this fucking neighborhood. Yeah, what's going on? That's why you parking on Riverside. You you look par for the course on Riverside. So where do you where do you park it at like at night when you do you just play the fitness? Oh really? Every yeah, time? Play fitness because they're open twenty four hours down the street. And do you have a, um, uh, a subscription era membership? Mm-hmm. So that way you can hop in, go do the shower thing. Yeah, I go work out and shit. Dude, that's fucking awesome. I don't know if y'all can tell, but <laughs> yeah, shoulders looking real wide right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, they are, man. I'm yeah. just trying to make it, baby. <laughs> I'm just trying to be somebody. So if you <laughs> if you become like this, you know, like you're very talented, you're very funny. Oh, one of my you. favorite comics thank in Austin. You, if you make it, like, what are you? Are you gonna still get a better? You gonna get a, like a better van? Are you gonna like gonna upgrade to an RV? Well, yeah. uh, I thought about it. Yeah. I mean, I don't need. I mean, I guess that's not bad, RV. It's, unless I got like a family or something. It's like, but really, it's like I families don't need... for the, the RV is for the family. <clears throat> Y'all can all live nah, in. There. I would. I wouldn't do them like that. It's hard for people. <laughs> it's not that their like, choice. It's hard yeah. for people that that the van life ain't for. That's everybody. why you got to. That's why you got to find you one of these train hopping bitches. Yeah, dog. Nah, and lock her like, down. Nah, they got like syphilis and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just tried to buy little Kim syphilis bikini. <laughs> nah, she ain't got. Syphilis, you about to get so. some. Uh, you don't think she got the syphilis? Nah, that was before all the surgery and shit. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. You about to get some? Uh... <laughs> nah, the, when I had a one bedroom apartment, it was too much space. I never. Wow. It was like too much. Really? It's like, and I kept it clean, but it was like you sound like the type of Negro that that is gel bound. Like I need ten by ten brick walls, yeah, small space, yeah, yeah. minimalist. Yeah, yeah. I could put one poster up. Yeah, yeah. I don't even like posters. Okay, even better. All I need is my toothbrush. Yeah. My balls and my word. That's all I need. See it. That's fucking awesome, man. Do you still get Simple pussy? Life. I'll put place? something on your commissary. No, no, you know me. I'm just saying. Hey, like, it's so, me, though. So you're like, yo, did you say like, hey, let's go to your crib? Or you like, of hey, course. Come. Yeah. Was, it's hard to pull a chick. I mean, I done hit three chicks in the van. <laughs> for sure. Hey, Austin chicks listen. are on the road. Kids, listen. You listen. still get pussy in the it van. Ain't. 
queen size bed, eleven hundred dollars. Anyway, oh, what you shit. Said? I said Austin chicks are on the road. Uh, Austin chicks. Austin yeah. chicks. Austin chicks. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. little hippie bitches. Hippie chicks. Yeah. It's not oh, terrible. Hairy it's all how you spin it. That's the yeah, first thing I, I thought of. It's yeah. just like comedy. It's all about, all about how you spin it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm Baby, pursuing I got all this dream. Freedom. Look at all this hey, freedom. I'm pursuing right this dream right yeah. now. Yeah. Hey, you come Where are you trying to stay tonight? You want to stay by 51st? You want to stay down by we can, we, can, we can just go to the parking we can lot. Cross yeah. the street right now. Yeah. Right now. We're there. We're already there. <laughs> doing, we already have my spot. I literally live anywhere. Yeah. You know, when you're in the heat of the moment, you know, you don't really realize what the moment is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so when you when you're trying to when you're trying to bag a chick in the van, like, do you feel like you got to do more work like on location before nah. getting into the van? Nah. Once you, it's like it's it's easy. Once you know you fucking, you fucking whatever you, you can fuck. I right. fucked a chick on the the stairwell at the Driscoll Hotel the other day. Got kicked out. Dog. When you ready to fuck, y'all fuck. It don't matter where it's at. You're like in your late thirties doing this shit too, man. Right? I know it was wild. It's beautiful. Married chick. Oh, yeah? Oh, shit. Uh, you know what's fucked? I'll tell you this story. So, she A saw me. Chick. That's fucked up. Is it? Is it? Yeah. For her. For her? For I'm saying for her husband. That, exactly. Was this, he watching? This is the only reason I felt bad, because we got kicked out, right? But we were at separate parties when we got kicked out. So, they came up to me and was like, hey, we got we saw you. Whatever, whatever. Uh-huh. We get You got to go. You know, I put up a little fight. I was like, ah, what happened? What really happened, though? (laughs) Who got hurt? Who got hurt? Right? (laughs) So I got kicked out. But I know they had to go up to her and be like, man, we need you to leave. And she was sitting with her husband. And he had to have been like, what happened? Oh, shit. And she would have had to explain this. See, I I had one of those. Yeah, I watched. I got kicked out and I was standing outside. She was watching. I watched them. I watched him walk out mad. The friend they were with walk out. And then her chasing, like... Oh shit! Like she had, like and you sit in the you sit in the van looking in the rear view like ah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in the van. I was outside watching, but it was That's like ah. Did you make eye contact? Yeah, I was like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know that shit is over. <laughs> Bring your ass back. <laughs> that shit is over. <laughs> You know you shouldn't have did that. I, 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 did wait, that. <laughs> do you have a do you have a married chick stairwell story? Nah, man. You never fucked a married chick on the stairwell in the hotel. You have. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Though. Hey, man. Come on, man. My son listens to this shit. Hey, Your son hey. don't listen to this shit. Hey, he does. He's hey, going to something. You gotta love it how and, it comes. Uh, well, Let well, him know who his dad younger, was in my younger days, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Sure that's what we. Sure we're not happens. talking about last week. Yeah. I mean, I knocked down a married chick in the stairwell of the Sheraton Riverwalk downtown San Antonio. Stairwells are prime location. Yo, and a stairwell. Her, fa- her family was Pretty on the good. other side of the wall. It's mm-hmm. good if she's short, too. Yeah, yeah. You could put her on the next step up. There you go. Right? That's that shit that I'm be thinking about. That would be thinking about that. That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's that van short life chicks. thinking. Yeah. 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 Figure out how that to make this small, shit work. Small space thinking. I'm, re- yeah, yeah. I'm resourceful. I'm standing your I'm ass a, on the step. I'm a recondo with fucking, though. <laughs> 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 a three by three space, we can make it work. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll we figure can. it out. Yeah. yeah, no shit. Right? No surprise. We're yeah. good. Put your legs on this wall right here. Yeah. Put you your flexible. back against that wall right there. I've been lifting. I've been working out. You, you know, like, just gotta be re- uh, really good, uh hydrated really well, man, because uh, yeah. you get some cramps in that bitch. Nah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But it's perfect for it stretching too, because you can get that yeah. foot, that arch yeah. on the yeah. wall. Like back. Yeah. yeah. Your yeah. calves are nice and loose. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can stretch and knock down Mary Chicks in the three by three. So you know, if you know, she just happened to be married. I wouldn't even though I talk about it on stage. This girl, I'm, I'm assuming this isn't the first time she cheated on her husband and she just goes to a party, finds someone and fucks I in a stairwell imagine. while he's there, dude. I can't imagine. This I girl's mean, like, oh. I mean, ah, the, yeah. Usually it don't, go down, it don't go down like that. Usually they're drunk, uh, out was, of town. She was drunk, out in of, town. In town? In town. She So she lived here in Austin? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I don't know, she just... That shit just escalated real fast. Escalated. <laughs> we was we walking to the stairs, Driscoll. Actually. I had my hand on her back because I couldn't tell if she was with that dude or not. So I had my hand on the back, like walking, like escorting. Uh-huh. And she didn't say no. She wasn't like, don't like, touch me. Oh, yeah. So I was like, okay. And then w- she came to my table and sh- like put her leg against mine. And then so I started like finger on the table. Dog. That fast? At the you don't Driscoll? fuck around. I mean, it started like, it's all happened in like 20, 30 minutes. Still, 20, 30 minutes, and you're already finger blasting. Finger blast. Yeah, yeah, I mean, she was putting off that energy. What am I do? Finger blast. And then I was like, hey, we got to stop this and go to the stairway. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what, what are we doing? <laughs> we done made it this far. Yeah. What up? Oh, shit. Got to finish this shit like uh, how, how, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, <laughs> what? Christ, dude. 
<laughs> That's good. Be, uh, be who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and who you are is a stair fucker. You are hey, a wife stair fucker. I got no scruples and I just learned like it's it's all part of life. Dog. You just love, you know. I don't got no shame about it. I got no fucking qualms about it, you know. Yeah. That's life. Mine my shit comes, shit goes. My uh stairwell married chick thing, like I was at work at Dick's Last Resort. This is way back. Uh I was at work at Dick's Last Resort. She was loud from Utah. She only had two beers, but uh, Utah, Utah girls are a freak. Right. Salt Lake girls. Yeah. And, and, and their beer is way weaker out <laughs> there. Chicks. Oh, wow. They got, their beer is like 2%. I know that. Yeah. So if they come here and they get like a 5 to 7% alcohol beer, oh, like done. a normal, done. Yeah. So yeah. she had two beers and she was done. And, uh, and her whole family left her there. And they were like, okay, drunk bitch, we're out. They left her. And uh, so I was just getting off and I'm talking to her. And very quickly, it escalated like with you. And I was like, I'll walk you back to your hotel. and uh. I walked her back to the hotel and uh, she's like, you want to walk me up? And we went, took the elevator. And then she's like, this is my room. Keep walking. We hit the stairwell, which is right there. And I was like, boom, I'm getting my drive. I did it with the backpack on still. Like, I didn't even take the backpack That's off. That's fucking hilarious, man. Didn't even take the backpack right. off. We're just going to do it right here in the stairwell. Yeah. Right there. Knock it down. Um, and then off you go. That's what happened. Off you go. She went <clears throat> to, to her room and I went down the stairs out the back door like an old boy from uh, the ladies man. Which is like that. Some Cavathier. Yes. I went I went back I went back to my job and got some Cavathier. Cavathier. <laughs> actually I got a uh uh Texas tea. Oh shit. Yeah. That was how that's how we that's how that was that was like the beginning of the night. Then we yeah, turned yeah. up on some Texas tea and I couldn't tell you what happened after that. Oh yeah. But yeah, sometimes you just gotta shit, sometimes yeah. you just gotta knock it down on stairwell, Get Chad. In the stairway, man. Don't be afraid. Like, Don't be I afraid. I think my stairwell day fucking fucking days are over, man. Well, I mean now I'm it's like practically married. It's not. A, it's like, not as cool if you do it now because yeah. it's with your girl. Nobody wants to hear that I story. Don't give a shit. I'll, I'll, I'll slide in on a stairwell. Yeah, girl, it's not cool for us shit. now. But like back know. in the day, it was it was so. an adventure. I would try to if I was married. I, I, I would try to get uh, my chick to do dog. It. By the way, yeah. So uh, on this note, man, yeah, yeah, I've, I've fucked it in a van before. Yeah, yeah. recently, dog, a couple months ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I don't mess around. I would try. To, I would, my girl's my pregnant. Chick. When my girl's pregnant, shit, in I was a, all over that. Whatever. In a van. And I dock in a van. Hell yeah, in a van on a boat. We don't give a shit. <laughs> just green eggs and ham. Yeah, green eggs and ham. <laughs> I'll, I'll fuck you in a boat. I'll fuck boat. you in a boat. I will boat. fuck you in a box. Yeah. I will fuck you with the fox. Yeah, I will fuck I'll, you here and there. I will I'll fuck you anywhere. Yeah, yeah, we will get it in. I don't yeah, give a fuck. We will get it in Lake Travis and fuck. I don't give a yeah. shit. Yeah, if I had it, yeah. Why not? A piece of the yeah, chair just came off. Yeah, you gotta have cool. fun and shit. Shit. Uh, this is awesome, man. We've been, I've been wanting to get you on. We've been wanting to get you on for a while, man. So I appreciate it. Because we think you're hilarious, man. But we got to get you on again. Yeah, I'll come uh, finish some of these stories and shit, too. We man. Bar- you I barely even told any fucking stories. We've That's been, me, Doc. I've been trying hey. to pull a story out of you <laughs> for 30 moved, fucking Doc. minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes I've been trying to pull a goddamn <laughs> story. And all we got I mean, is you know. I fucked a chick on the stairs last week. That's yeah. a story. You got a story. That's good, man. man. Yeah. That's good. Hey, I got, awesome, I got more. I don't forgot about it. Oh, I'm sure, dog. Uh, uh, where, where can people find you and find your shows and shit like that? Uh, pff, uh, Instagram, DreRix87. There you go. And then... Uh, you do a show at Speakeasy every other week, right? Yeah, we got a show this Saturday this at Speakeasy. Saturday. It's a good It'll show, be a man. Buzz Buzzmill tomorrow. Mike Weeby's got a new show. Buzzmill on uh, Riverside, right? How, yeah, that's how, the only one left. How, uh, how often are you doing uh, the Buzzmill shows? Uh, we got our show Tuesday. That's the open mic. And then we're starting a talk show July 8th <laughs> at Buzzmill. Me and Martin Hen. Oh, what's up? And then... Uh, you know, whenever I get booked up there. Yeah. So I'm there every Tuesday at least. And okay. then once a month for the talk show. Every Tuesday at Buzz Mill. Eight o'clock. That's the open mic. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm at, the, I'm at the Creek next week. Seven. Sweet. And then I'm at the Vulcan the week after that. And then I'm going to California and then to Wisconsin. Oh, shit. What's and we up, may never man? see you again. See, I want to talk to you about that tour because you and Farmer are about to hit the road. Yeah. It's going down. That's going, you going to drive all the way? I just did Farmer's. Uh, we're, farming, we're flying to LA and then we'll drive up the coast. Dude, okay. what's up? I just did a driving show that he does yeah. uh, downtown. He, he's moving. Oh, uh, that shit was terrible. He's moving to LA? He's not moving. I'm not uh, saying he's making moves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that he's about to be terrible. homeless, so he might it's be moving terrible. to LA. That show was terrible, dude. Terrible. It felt like a David Lynch film, man. It was like Wait, you didn't fucking like weird. No, nah, man, some, I hated that shit. Some of them Wait, are bad, but it's like funny fun. Yeah. It's like how weird many, fun. How many cars were there? Probably about 12. Oh, oh that's you good. Should, you should have had a good-ass time. No, 12 good. cars is hey, good. I'd have done hey. it with like three cars. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I've done the two the cars. they're like flashing shit. their lights and they're laughing. I'm like, dog, this is some David Lynch shit, man. I, I'm, this is some Twin Peaks part two shit. I'm not. I'm not I I got, who, who's David Lynch? That's that fucking, that, that goofy-ass uh, director that'd be doing all this weird shit, all these weird fucking movies and shit. Do you yeah. have told his shit? What movies? Uh, so, dude, I didn't watch a lot of his movies, but he did like Twin Peaks. That's the only thing I could really I stomach, man, because- 
Everything else is fucking strange. Just too weird. They're like, uh, it is different. Those driving shows, dude. It's fucking they're, strange. I, I thought it was. I thought it was like yeah. funny, fun. Like it's funny to be doing it, mm-hmm. and then it's like weird that they flash on the lights. Yeah, and shit. yeah. I you're can't. Like, I, I, yeah, dude. I, I have them roll the windows down. Cataracts though. and shit. Like <laughs> fuck, dog. Y'all gotta stop doing this. Like just fucking honk or something. Yeah. Man, oh, me and like, me and Ty did it the night before the uh, the big freeze. Mm-hmm. So it was like twenty four with like thirty mile an hour wind oh, gusts. Oh shit! Fuck that! And Ty's ass was out there with uh, he had no gloves. No, I gave him my extra beanie to wear. And like uh, you know how little Ty is. Yeah. Oh, that motherfucker about turned into a popsicle. Oh out yeah, there. so they, yeah. they just got like six pounds of meat. It was like twenty cars too. Yeah, it was like a good ass crowd. But I'm like, I literally just I, I never yelled at an audience more than I did that day. Yeah. I was just like, fuck y'all in your warm ass. Yeah, yeah, and they're comfortable cars. Getting, yeah, getting blowjobs. Hey, can I be a regular on the show? Yeah, yeah. why not? Yeah, we, you got regulars. <laughs> nah, we do now. Be the first one. Yeah, yes. yeah, we can have you on. Like, I love you. Though. Once every four to six weeks or something. Oh, you yeah. Come on, whenever. If you're in, you're in the area right. and we record, you can <laughs> yeah, you can pop in. It's whatever. Yeah, yeah sure. whatever. This is good. This yeah. is great. All right, guys. Well, you can find us on hotpotmedia.com. Check out all of our past episodes. You can also you're gonna see on your screen probably right about now all of our social media handles and everything. Like Cheatham said earlier, give us a review, give us a follow, tell your friends. All that shit. Yo, we're almost to that 500 number, y'all. So let's hit that first milestone. Y'all help us out, man. Uh, and who knows? We'll do something special for uh, 500. <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll have Dre back. Yeah, for, we'll have If we Dre hit back. 500 subscribers, we'll have Dre back, and he won't say anything. He'll just do this yeah, the, whole time. the entire time. Yeah. If you want to see Dre stare <laughs> into ready. the camera like this. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, he'll be off. He'll be off to the side. Just staring. Just staring into the camera. <laughs> no, like, have his own dedicated so, camera yeah, that he just, just stares Andy into. Andy Richter shit over there on the side. The sidekick act. Shake my head when I disagree. <laughs> yeah, nah, I can't believe y'all said that shit. But, yo, thank you guys for <laughs> tuning right, in. Uh, and help us out. Hit the subscribe, like, notifications turned on. Leave a review. Leave a comment. Uh, until next time, y'all be kind to each other. And here's Mud and you guys. Peace. Peace. Thanks for listening. You can find more episodes and all other Hot Pie Media originals baked fresh daily at our home on the web at hotpiemedia.com, the Hot Pie Media YouTube channel, or wherever you listen to podcasts.